very good morning students welcome to class 9th social science class and first of all this is your first class of social science isn't it and after your uh, eighth standard when you entered your eighth standard on the first day we have started social science and uh, i welcome you all heartily welcome to the eighth standard and uh, you were very lucky and uh, without writing uh, your exams you have completed your seventh standard and very uh, special chance you got to enter into eighth standard and you have grown up now you have to be very very serious children why because you are not small kids like previous now you are called high school kids high school children not a primary students are a primary children so you should be little bit very serious in your studies and in your um, behavior in your activities you are matured you are grown up now and you should be a model of your juniors you should be a example a best example for your juniors and uh, very welcome to you to the class 8 specially for a social science subject in that the first chapter is how when and where when you come to the social science this is the question starts in every one mind and the social science completely is stands on how when and where you know that and previously you have studied social science social social means what studying about the past so studying about the past means when simple question will arise past means when where how this is about we are going to study today see in that the first lesson how when and where this is the first chapter of your history today we have started and in that we are going to study about how when and where and it is very very easy topic very simple topic and the first and foremost thing is you have to take your textbook and keep reading the lessons so you will understand very easily and you are in the very uh, different kind of a classes nowadays why because uh, because of this covid 19 and uh, your class you are not you are unable to come to the school and uh, now you are having online classes this is very very new for you people and in that new and i have brought a very new to you without a word a class and you can't see me even so this is my condition i, I, I um, i'm sorry to that you can't see me and you can listen to me now please listen very carefully you will understand see think this is your board what is this this is your board and now let us start the class when where how so when how when and where are very very related to a social science or a social in that see how important are dates social means very very important things are dates how important are these dates very important because when you think when and where so first you have to talk about when when means date day and it is how how means yes very important thing there was a time when historians were were historians fascinated with the dates and historians were very fascinated with the dates there were heated debates about the dates on which ruler were crowned or uh, battles were fought in the common sen sense nation see when dates are very important see these historians are very very important i said these historians are very very crazy people and these are very fascinated about the dates see when you talk about some uh, king his date and his battle when he crowned when he become a ruler that all you need a dates particular dates so that they have started studying history was uh, synonymous with the dates 
dates are very very important history is there no the history is synonymous of dates history is nothing but a date date is nothing but a history i can say okay understood i hope so and here it is you may have heard of people saying i find history boring because it is all about a memorizing dates in such a conception true yes yes i agree with you all and history is boring why because i am remembering the date remembering the year remembering what happened in the past when he crowned when he married when he fought the which battle happened when and with whom he fought everything should remember means history is nothing but a memorizing it is not the uh, solving method it is a memorizing so uh, people are very true in remembering the things because sometimes they don't remember their birthday only isn't it so funny yes and sometimes they will forget to wish their father and mother birthday and their wedding anniversary because people are very very poor in remembering the things that's what people say is history is boring yeah i agree but it's a true concept but you need to remember you need to study about the past if you study about the past the future will be best and you can plan for your future isn't it so history certainly about changes that occur over time it is about a finding out how things were in the past how things have changed as soon as we compare the past with the present we refer time we talk about before and after see if it is a history is boring so you can't lead your life why because if you study about a past you can compare with the present you can plan for your future so to plan for a future you remember you should study you should uh, memorize about the history you can yes it's a boring but it's must you must have to study about it that is very very important when you talk about this present and the past it is just like before and af after now present before what happened before means a past what happened you have to study so present you will be living so before it was like this after it will be like this you can easily find out a study and you can plan for your life understood yeah this is so don't say history is boring you say history is very very interesting because when you st keep studying history definitely you will be very excited to know about what happened what happened see nowadays i'll just give you an example might be you people are watching mahabharata yeah it is also nothing but a history you might be uh, watching another uh, um, serial nowadays uh, ramayana is coming see these all are past see you are very excited how rama was how lakshmana was how arjuna was how mahabharata was this was is nothing but the past so if you you are excited means see if you think about them if you learn about them if you uh, know about them definitely your future will be best okay so you say history is not boring history is very very interesting so i agree with the boring but i telling you to change this boring word into interesting understand see living in this world we do not always ask historical questions about what we see around us see when you come to when you are just morning when you will wake up and uh, sit morning as usual uh, many people are even you are start drinking tea just one question you create one question will arise in your mind tea a cup of tea when we started drinking see if you go through start studying about that that is called history before drinking tea what was the situation when we start drinking tea from where it came to india or when people started drinking tea these are questions you will start so what is around us 
if you start studying about it the present what you can see if you start studying about it that is nothing but a history see one more situation this is here watching someone a sip a cup of tea at a roadside tea stall you may wonder when did people begin to drink tea or coffee looking out the window of a train you may ask yourself when were railway built when it is built railway where it is built how it is built also you may be studied you may come to know it it would be built by iron some of the you know, uh, cable uh, in the factory it's molding how you may be know now but when and where is studying about it is a past so before train how the people used to travel from one place to another place in the far distance or the long distance the question will arise is if you keep studying that that is called a history this is not a boring this is interesting that's what i'm saying you see reading the newspaper in the morning you may be curious to know how people got to hear about the things before newspaper began to printed yes now okay now paper are there and google is there and uh, tv is there and many news channels are there we getting a news very easily we get each and everything in a fraction of second if the pm modi is just say something within a five minute you will come to know through um, news channel through some of the youtube channels through some of the app online newspapers so before this newspaper how would people come to know the things news if you start studying this this is nothing but what it is history all such historical questions refer us back to a nations of time this is what this historical questions see whatever you see around you if you question that that is nothing but historical question of nation so that is what we study here in this chapter but the time does not have to be always precisely dated in term of particular year or a month sometimes it is actually incorrect to fix precise dates to process that happen over a period of time the people in india did not begin drinking tea one fine day they developed a taste tea the taste for it over time there can be no one clear date for a precious such as this uh, similarly we cannot fix one single date on which british rule was established or the national movement started or changes took place within the economic and society all these things happened over a scratch of time means stretch of time means exact particular date we can't give when people started drinking tea because they keep tasting one point day they have found some taste some useful to start drinking one permanent and fixed date is not there when british people started ruling india that one particular date is not there we can say the era we can say century 16th century 17th century but particular date we can't because just they've entered for some other reason and they have slowly um, left their roots and slowly they have started taking over the people same thing they have slowly started ruling the india there is no particular date we can't fix any date same thing if anything economic and social changes happened the one particular date we can't give we can only give on stretch of period or during this time during 15th century very nice economic growth was there society was developed we can say so it is happened on the over stretch of time it takes a long time to um, establish this to have uh, understanding that concept we can't take just one 
particular date and study and we can only refer to a span of time the period a span of time on duration we can take and refer and study that the approximate period over which particular changes become visible see uh, 16th century british people came to india but 16th century they started ruling no so slowly they have uh, started taking come over the indians the particular changes when it become uh, visible 16th century we can see 16th century earlier beginning only they might be entered by the end of and the middle of the century they have started ruling us so that when the change is visible no, that we will be consider and why then do we continue to associate history with the st string of dates these associations as a reason there was a time when the history was an account of battle the big events and it was about a ruler their policies historians were wrote about the year a king when the king was crowned when he married uh, when he had a child and uh, the year he fought with a particular war and when he succeeded his throne and when he died after his death who is the next ruler succeed the throne for events such as this specific date can be determined and history such as this dates the debates about date continue to be important see for example we can take a king this particular date we can in this particular date he born this particular date he got married this particular date he become a king he succeeded crown and this particular date he fought with somebody the battle was there the particular we can give like this so dates are very very important they are saying and same way as you have seen in the history textbook of past two years historians how write about a host of issues so not only about the king some of the issues they have started writing in that what is that see the other questions they look at how people earned their livelihood during the this king for example ashoka was there when ashoka born when ashoka got married when ashoka had a kalinga war when ashoka crowned uh, succeeded crown after ashoka who succeeded the crown this we can study this is about the things and same way here it is uh, the host of issues means they look at how people earned their livelihood what they produce and eat during this time how the people were living how what they used to eat what they used to produce how the cities developed how the market come up how kingdoms were formed new ideas spread how the culture and society changed these all will be the host of issues these all we start studying this is about completely history and the completely how important are dates remember kids how important are dates this is your today's class and uh, hope you can understand watching this video and before you watch this please once you go through the textbook then watch this and if you have any doubts please ask me i'll try to clarify your doubts thank you so much